What's up, my Fizz family? This your boy, Boss, and today we back with another banger for you guys. Today we got some disasters in the fish room. We got some fish room expansion. We got a lot going on, as always, so stick around, stay tuned, and we got something new for the fish room, too. Let's get this video started. <music> What up, my fish fam? We back with another banger for you guys. So today, um, just down here in the fish room, it's late night right now. I just wanted to make a video for you guys, a little update on what's going on. So pretty much, I got a lot going on. It's disasters. We got some good things and some great things going on. Um, so today, I had moved this old refrigerator that I already had in the house. It's like a little mini fridge. I had this. Actually, fun fact, I had this since college, since like 2012 when I graduated college. So. That little tell you how old I am, but yeah, so I had that for a while. So I decided to bring that downstairs when we moving that somewhere. I haven't decided yet. I was thinking maybe over here in this corner where them center blocks are, sit it right there and then sit the fan on top of it. And that way I have access um, because I want to be able to put my frozen food in here and then have some drinks and waters because I'll be down here working a lot. So have some drinks and waters, people come over and then, but the main thing really is to have all my frozen food in there. So Think about putting it right there. I think that'd be like a good spot, out of sight, out of mind type of thing. I um, think it'd be awesome. Look at these guys, man. I was sitting here looking at this tank a second ago, like, we're gonna feed this tank in this video. They looking amazing. But another thing that's going on, we'll talk about the disaster stuff last. Let's talk about the good stuff. Um, I've been down here working, expanding the room. So it kind of ended right here for the most people who don't know if you go back and look at my old videos like i have transitioned this basement over like the last i would say month and a half two months to what it is now and in the basement used to end where the pond stopped the basement ended right here so i have since then yet extended it even further but what i've been doing is i've been moving putting more flooring down so when you come through here you're going to lead over to this new area here now this is a work in progress um but let me try to show y'all a vision let me extend the camera so you guys can see let me try to try to explain my vision so um, i got that's where the 120 gallons gonna sit it's still sitting right here on this mat that way it don't you know get damaged or anything um but so i'm thinking about putting the 110 gallon right over there and i'm um, gonna have the video soon coming so stay tuned for that we're gonna be that's probably coming this week so that's gonna be a, be on the lookout for that. But anyways, so y'all can see I got me a new little recliner here and I'm thinking about putting a TV up on the wall right here. That way I can just be down here catching the vibe, you know what I'm saying, by myself. And then I'll be able to look over here and see my fish too. But yeah, the 100 gallon gonna go right here and then I got my little recliner set up. And then uh, I can always extend this part back because like I said, these, these walls I put up are literally made out of sheets and stuff like that so i can extend this room like the back side of this room is my kids play area so i can extend it make it smaller do all type of things so i'm thinking for sure the hundred guy gonna sit there and these kind of like the dimensions of it pretty much it'd be four feet by two feet so that's kind of why i got like the that's the top of it and i'm gonna build a stand so i'm gonna have like a little diy video dropping this week of explaining how to build your stands for these big tanks um, so we're building a stand right here and they have me a little tv on the wall here clean the area up a little bit more and i think this would be a cool little vibe spot you know when i'm down here in the fish room after i'm done doing work i can come over here and look at the tank and just chill so that's what we're working on right now so i'm extending the flooring and i'm gonna extend more flooring all the way up to here I brought i had this this is just a regular old house rug an old rug i had in the house brought it down here to the basement you know just use what you can to make the the room and make everything dope so that's what's going on. It's always something evolving and changing around here. But yeah, we're gonna get this set up somewhere, probably over there. And then that'd be dope. We'll have some spot for our frozen food. Now let's get into a little bit of what I would say a disaster is. And right now we're talking about this tank. So people know about this tank. If you watch the channel, I had an Oscar in here. I had this Vieja in here. And then I had the leaf fish. So over the last couple of weeks of me keeping these fish, I've been dealing with, this tank alone has just been dealing with disease and sickness, parasites, it, I truly don't know what it is. 
I've been fighting it. I've been treating it. I've been doing crazy water changes. I then had to heat up. I don't know what else to do. But we end up losing the Oscar and we lost the leaf fish. And it, the Oscar lost him last night. We lost the leaf fish the day before. So it's just been crazy. But I've been noticing that the Vieja is doing okay. He He's okay now. So I don't know. We're going to see. I'll monitor him over the next week and see how he does. But I can still see that he ain't 100%. But he's looking okay. He's looking okay. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me some help. What you think? What's going on with this tank? Um, this is This whole rack system over here is really new. None of these tanks are seasoned. Just like a lot of my tanks only tanks that are like really mature in this fish room are like this 10 these 10 gallons these 20 gallons uh all these 10s and 20s these tanks i've had for years and years and years um but some of the bigger tanks down here i recently picked up um, over the last month or two and just like this uh setup over here this is a new setup that hasn't even been able to mature yet so when you have tanks like this, they're gonna go through processes, you know, good and bad. So that's what's going on with this tank right now. And this was currently, it was a quarantine tank anyways. And it had to be because fish started getting sick. So I just turned it to a quarantine tank. So I think I'm gonna just gonna see how this Vieja do, see if he can jump back. Cause he's starting to get some color, starting to get some red on his fins. And I don't see any more ick. I mean, he's, he's doing good. I haven't fed today. So I haven't fed none of the fish down here. So I don't know if he's eating today, um, but we're going to do that in this video. We'll put some little food in for our farm. But that's just crazy. That's what's going on down here, man. But that's a part of having a fish room when you have so many tanks and you have all this going on down here. I mean, you're, you're going to have run into problems. But that's the thing about my channel. I like to keep it real and raw with y'all and let y'all know the good and the bad, what's going on down here in the fish room. But it'll get better. You know, that's why I don't run... Uh, all my tanks on one system because if that happens then now I got to treat the whole system You know with me having these just separate tanks separate systems I can just treat one tank if the fish die in that tank. That's what it is all the rest of my fish don't get affected by that um, But you know, it's just easier for me That's pretty much all the disaster. Let's just feed some fish. Uh, a couple of these fish haven't ate today uh, Some I own I feed twice a day and some I feed just once depends this tank Try to feed this tank once one good heavy day Let me get some more i'm just feeding on these little sticks that's what i had in reach right now Go get some other food from down here. Now, this is my little secret, to be honest. A lot of people, um, I had somebody message me like, man, how you get your vieja to get that color like that? Get his color to come out. And honestly, it's really this, you know, this is some regular old uh, food you can pick up at Walmart. And, but this stuff really gets your fish to color up. So it works, you know? Sometimes you don't have to always go with what everybody else saying. Just use the stuff that's on the market, and it works. They doing good. Let's go ahead and feed these guys down here. I don't think I ever fed them on camera. Open up their top. Pour some of these up in here. You can see the doe by the green tear. The fire mouth. Tank the glass need to be clean so it ain't the best view. I apologize for that. But you can see these guys. They're in their natural habitat. Let me zoom the camera out a little bit. Got the clown knives in here too, but they they'll come out eventually. There you go. They come out, they some eaters, they some big eaters. Really good eaters. And that's crazy, huh? We got the little clown knife and we got the big choker over here. That's crazy. But yeah, let's see, we can feed the pond a little bit. I know this, this red devil, he's a good eater. Jewel cichlid. 
that uh Jack, he don't eat in front of me though, but he'll eat uh if I throw some food in here and walk away and come back, I can see I'll catch him eating, but he don't eat in front of me. He ain't used to me yet. And that's okay. I want to feed these African sick, but I always love feeding these guys. A little bit in there and get them chummed up a little bit. And then they'll start coming out. I've had this guy right here for about two years. You can see the size difference between him and the rest of them. I had him for a couple years. Throw some more of this up in here for the smaller cichlids. I also feed this stuff to this little child. I feed that to my plecos over here. Throw this in here. Come back in a few seconds and they'll be coming out, boy. Why well, should come back and they'll be coming out? And I also feed this stuff to my corridors up in here. See the nice little Julie Corys. They like to eat that stuff. And of course, can't forget about these, but I always do because they down here. And that's my favorite fish, honestly, in the fish room. But I say that about everything, right? I see somebody comments like, oh, you say that about everything. But yeah, these are them guys right here. Still a little skittish, a little fish. But they're getting some good color too. These are a special uh, breed of uh, Brashardis, or Brashardis. These are a special kind. Can't remember the name. I find I, if I remember the name, I'll let you guys know. But uh, they're a special kind. They got like a yellow on them. You can see that uh, mature one right there. He got like a yellow tint to his fins. It's pretty lit. It's pretty nice. These guys here, I cannot get them to feed on camera. I wish I could for you guys, but yep, their tank is coming soon. Getting everything set up and squared away for them. This gonna be getting fish on. Everything is always changing and evolving around here, man. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and uh, if you did, make sure you guys give this video a big like. Let's go feed um, the turtle. Make sure you guys like these videos, man. Subscribe to my channel. Keep sharing them with your friends and your family. Let people know about our channel. Um, just We're just trying to grow out here. We're trying to educate, bring good, positive energy to the hobby. Let's see, watch him eat a little bit. He's a beaut. But yeah, we're just trying to bring positive energy to the hobby, man, and just inspire people, motivate people, and just keep it going. So if you guys enjoy these daily videos, man, give this video a big like, man, because, you know, I'm grinding out here, trying to bring this content to y'all. But if not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in my next one. I holla.